Today's Bite Size is all about exploring heads, tracks, cylinders, and sectors. If I wanted to explain directions to my house, I might say something like, travel to the furthest eastern regions of England, continue north on winding and desolate country roads, and take a right by the lady with a shopping trolley full of old plastic bags. In order to follow these directions, you'd need to understand what east, north, right, and so forth meant. Although used to a much lesser extent nowadays, the words cylinder, head, sector, and track are much like directions concerning disk operations. Data is stored on disks in bytes, and traditionally those bytes are organised into 512 byte groups known as sectors, although modern hard drives use 4096 byte sectors. But given I enjoy talking about nostalgia, we'll be concentrating on earlier forms of IBM PC compatible hard disk, commonly used in the 1980s, which exposed the cylinder head sector method of addressing to the operating system, allowing the OS to mount, format, and organize each disk accordingly. A sector is the minimum unit of data you can read or write to a disk, not to be confused with blocks. A sector refers to the physical area on the disk, whereas a block denotes a small chunk of data. You may also hear the term cluster. This is a term found in DOS and simply refers to a sequential number of sectors. These sectors are arranged into tracks, which themselves can be arranged into groups known as cylinders. But before going into further detail, it's easier to explain hard drive structure with a simple example. In this case, a 5.25 inch 360k single density floppy disk. A floppy has two sides, which require two heads or surfaces to read them. Each side contains data, and each side is divided into 40 concentric tracks, which in the case of a floppy also equates to 40 cylinders. Each of these tracks is separated, like a pie, into nine wedges called sectors, and each sector stores 512 bytes of data. So without sounding like we're delving into a Three Little Bears rhyme, let's move back to the hard drive. Unlike a floppy, a hard drive is made up of rigid metal disks, and each disk is known as a platter. The original XT 10 megabyte drive had two platters, but newer drives could hold many more. Like a floppy, each of these platters has an electromagnetic read-write head for each side, and each platter is made up of tracks, although we're talking several thousand rather than the 40 on a floppy disk. Because hard drive heads move in unison, it makes sense to store related data across the same track on each platter, and this is where we get the term cylinder. It essentially refers to a stack of tracks, and therefore, if a platter has 300 tracks, the hard drive by definition will have 300 cylinders. So, a hard drive with 10 platters may have the same number of cylinders as one with 5 equivalent platters, but still twice the storage space. Our floppy is divided into 40 tracks of 9 sectors each, equating to 720 total sectors per disk and 360 kilobytes of total storage. Whereas our 10 megabyte XT hard drive has 305 cylinders, meaning 305 tracks on each of its surfaces, divided into 17 sectors, equaling 20,740 total sectors and equating to 10,370 kilobytes of storage. For the operating system then, these divisions simply act as road signs. The OS refers to a table of contents stored at the start of the disk when it requires a particular file, and this table directs the drive heads to the place where that file can be found. So much like a house address is broken down into more and more specific parts in descending order, 16, the drive, Birmingham, England, Data on a drive is organized in the increasingly specific locations of cylinder, surface, and sector. Of course, having fixed areas on the disk to store data meant wastage. Outer tracks contain more surface area than inner tracks, and so zone bit recording was introduced which allowed different numbers of tracks per sector. An example of this is the CD-ROM, where rather than concentric tracks, data is stored on one continuous spiral, like the grooves of a record. In the case of a CD drive, the problem of solving this varying number of sectors is solved by simply varying the speed of the drive motor depending on which part of the disk is being read. 
Logical block addressing allowed this method to be used in hard drives. First introduced with the SCSI standard, LBA exposed a linear addressing scheme to the operating system which the drive firmware itself converted to cylinders, heads and sectors, and thus allowed a bespoke number of sectors to be stored per track, eliminating waste. So although heads, tracks, cylinders and sectors are a thing of the past, they are also still with us, just tucked away. A bit like an iPhone, but a hard disk. Yeah, you get the idea.